the Bear and Cheryl Show. Briar Horse Edition. So, baby and I thought we'd come back at you with a brand new hobby of mine. Well, a hobby that I wanted to do so desperately when I was younger and, of course, was not able to do for a lot of reasons, mainly the people that I was around. Um, but now I'm healing, I'm evolving, and a lot is happening in my life. And this is a glorious thing that actually did happen. And it made me so happy. Like, it's amazing how happy it actually made me. Baby, baby's happy all the time. Aren't you, baby? So, I'm so happy with baby, too. But it really made me feel so much better. I couldn't believe it. And so, I've been trying to heal myself and do good things for my life. And so, I thought, you know what? I really did love horses. And I can't even remember why I really started thinking about it. But I thought... Um, cause I sometimes go to this cool store called Otter Co-op and it's kind of this like horsey store, kind of country store and they sometimes have them, not a lot. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to go and wonder Stampede Tack, this place that actually sells all kind of tack things and everything in Cloverdale, which is actually a fairly horsey place is cause I'm trying to look after myself now and not everybody else. So I thought I'm going to do that. And then I happened across all these amazing models and I'm like, oh my God, it was like the love that I had when I was like 15 years old came right back when I wanted to be with horses so much because my cousins actually own horses and I always have loved them just with this deep, almost desperate kind of love and I was never able to do it. So I thought, I'm going to do it now, man. Yeah. Sort of like an early birthday present for myself. So I thought, because I've watched a lot of videos where people talk about their horses and I thought you know what let's talk about my horses because this is a hobby that I'm going to keep doing and in the, in the um, context of the bear and Cheryl show and you know baby's baby's happy about it too he's like no he's happy he's happy that I'm happy about it so this is my horse collection such as it is okay so the first one, the first one, here we go. Anybody know who this horse is? Anybody know? Come on, it's unmistakable. It's Man of War, the horse, the horse of horses, the horse of the century. It's Man of War. Oh my God, it's like the most wonderful horse you could possibly imagine. Back in 1920, I believe. Only raced, I believe it was 20 times, maybe 21. Won almost all of them faster than anything alive, maybe even now. And this was back probably a 100 years ago almost. So pretty amazing horse. So this I've had for a while. This is my Man of War, and it's so amazing. I love Man of War. And, of course, Man of War sired so many other horses who did very, very well as well. This one is my Morgan... Palomino. Look at this one. Isn't it gorgeous? Look at this. How could you not love this horse? Come on. <gasps> it's my Morgan Palomino. I just bought this. I'm so in love with. Look at that eye. Look at the eye. Isn't that the most beautiful horse you've ever seen? Come on. So, yeah. So, I cannot tell you how happy these make me. I just literally feel better. And if anybody has been watching it all, they know I haven't been feeling well. So, um, this is, I'm so happy about it. So, here we go. This is a little one they call these stable mates. And, hello, mm, 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 mm. this is a little one. And it's a quarter horse. And it's such an amazing looking quarter horse. So, I'm so happy. It's a smaller version, but it's literally just as, I mean, look at that horse. Don't you want to just own that horse? Look at that. And, oh, wow, you know, and it's got a blaze on his face, too. So that's just so beautiful. So, yeah, so that's the horses. I bought some more because I'm kind of excited about it. I bought a golden unicorn that actually looks kind of like the sun um, from Briar themselves. And a beautiful-looking quarter horse that was the standard, I believe, for the photos that they took years and years ago about the standard. Um horse quarter horse and I'm learning about all this stuff because I'm quite new to it actually but I can't believe how happy I am and I watch these girls well sometimes women but mostly girls talk about how much they're in love with their horses and I'm like it's like I'm 15 again 
and I remember how much I love them. So, except now I can do something about it. So that's exciting. So the biggest one though, the one that I just bought at another tax store like yesterday is called California Chrome. I have a thing for racehorses. I don't know. And this, this is phenomenal. This is California Chrome. Look at how big he is. This is the 1-9 scale. I think in the Palomino was the 1-12 scale. And look at this horse, man, okay? Look at that eye. Look at that detail. Come on. So, I'm just so in love. I'm like, I'm so in love with these horses. I cannot get, I mean, just looking at them makes me feel good. I had to rearrange my apartment because I have to find places to put them. So, I'm so in love with these horses. And Baby and I are just thrilled because it's a new hobby. Apparently, it's something people actually do. You can show them. You can actually uh, take photos of them. You can sell them. You can go in communities. You can go to this beautiful thing called Briarfest, which just ended literally a couple of, uh, I think it was last weekend, where people have all these beautiful ponies, and they actually show them, and they actually talk to each other. And I'm like, you know, as somebody who's, you know, looking for some friends who actually like the same things she likes, I am pretty excited about that. So that is my Briar story. And Baby and I are very excited about that. Lots happening as well. I have some brand new C.W. Anderson books because, of course, he was extraordinary. That I want to read for Bear's Book Corner. But, you know, Bear has some ideas too. What do you think, Bear? Is it okay if we do it? Okay, yeah, so he doesn't mind. He doesn't have another um, book planned. So that's probably the next video. Okay, we'll see you later, everybody. Bye-bye. The Bear and Cheryl Show. Briar Horse Edition.